Hey everybody, this is Stuart with Wine on the Diamond. Today I'm going to be reviewing the 2020 Barton et Gestier. I tried my best there. <laughs> it's uh, it's their Vouvray, uh, which is Chenin Blanc. It's from uh, Loire Valley in France. It is 12% alcohol by volume and uh, it has a screw top, so plus one. It did crack, and as you notice, that ears a little bit empty. Um, apparently, my wife snuck a glass when I wasn't looking, so thanks. From a color standpoint, I'm going to give you a pale lemon, no artifacts, no cloudiness. On the nose, so, whoa, that's, that's pretty tropical. So I'm getting lime, I'm getting a little bit of pineapple, I'm also getting grapefruit, there's a lot of citrus. I don't know, maybe, maybe one of those citrus notes is the actual blossom of it, because it has a little bit of a floral note. Anyway, a lot of citrusy notes, slightly floral, a little bit of pineapple, um, but how does it taste? This is a little bit weird. Yeah, and what I mean by that is, it has a medium body, it's off dry, but the acid is medium plus, but it hits with a bitter note. So on the approach, it's, it's kind of sweet. On the mid palate, it's pretty even. As soon as you start getting it into your, like, the back of your mouth and you swallow to go into the finish, it's just like a tidal wave of, like, bitter. Like, those grapefruit and lime notes that I was talking about, it's like the bitter oil of those going in there. The pineapple stays pineapple-y, but those citrus notes, they kind of they kind of turn the corner a little bit. That's a short finish, though, so if you do get hit with those bitter notes, they don't last for very long because they actually go away along with everything else in the finish. So it's kind of just like this quick hit of bitter and then it's gone. Anyway, how's the rate? Let's get to the blick. From a balance standpoint, I'm gonna give you half a point. And the reason why is if you notice I was a little bit hesitant to say medium plus acid, that's because it's borderline medium and medium plus. And with this little bit of an off dry characteristic, I feel like it needs to have more acid to kind of cut through a little bit of that sugar because after a few sips, it did feel a little cloying. So I think it needs more acid and it'd be a little bit more even. So balance half a point. Length, short finish, 0.25. Intensity, medium on the nose, medium on the palate. I would say medium plus, but that intensity transitions into bitterness. So I don't want to reward that. So half a point. And in terms of complexity, You've, you've kind of got like three notes that I'm really detecting here. It's some sort of like citrus floral, it's some sort of like lime or grapefruit, whatever one is not the floral, and it's pineapple. So I'm not gonna give you any points for complexity. So once you add everything up, you're an okay wine. And I think that's where this sits. I have had some wines, some Vouvray that are just fantastic. This is far from it. Really what it comes down to in this wine is it just, it just needs a few touches here and there to make it good, like adding more acid, making sure that it doesn't have that bitter transition from mid palate into the finish. If they could deal with those, then this would be a good wine, but until then, it's just okay. Anyway, this has been Stuart with Wine on the Dime. If you liked today's review, please like, subscribe, and comment. Have you had the Bottant et Gessier? I'm gonna, I still probably butchered it. <laughs> Vouvray from the Loire Valley, France. It'd be interesting if you have. Leave a comment below, and I'll see y'all again soon with another review from Wine on the Dime.